Hey guys, this is John playing Minecraft. I decided I wanted to make something really special for you. I also wanted to rebuild my subway station, so put uh, put those together, and here we have what is going to be my subway station. I haven't got the center of the room cleared out yet. I've been working on this for quite a while. Um, you can still see the center chunk here. Right, this is uh, 100 blocks wide and 200 blocks long. You can see this wall over here. It, it is massive. And it's really cool. It's a cross section, basically, of the map at this point. So, you know, here's a ravine. Or I guess it's a cave. There's no opening, but... 43. And my area down here is at uh, 27, 28. Uh oh. However, this subway station is going to go. It's gonna. It's it's going to be almost 100 by 200, and it's going to go down to the bedrock. I'll probably have a little cushion between the, the bedrock and the floor. Um, here's what I've cleared out down down at the base of it. Ooh, lava hot. <laughs> As you can see, this is going to be freaking enormous. Um, I started having all the lava issues and stuff, so I decided to work my way down from the top. But with these lava lakes are going to be a pain in the butt to get rid of. Probably get rid of this right here. Yup. But there you go, guys. This uh, is, is just going to be massive. Let's get back up top here and I'll show you where we are. Okay. The subway station is going to start about uh, right here-ish. What is that? That's just a channel dugout. That's... <laughs> weird. Um, but yeah, it goes over to... It goes over past this, this pillar here. Uh, somewhere over in here is going to be by far the biggest thing I've ever built. And we're going to finish it, uh, at least finish out the hole to make the whole thing in this week's episode. So stay, stay with me here. We're going to have to do a little bit of jumping forward in time. Here's the last line of the entire room. We'll clear this out. Take a little bit more than that medium potion. And there you go, guys. That is 100 by 200 by 2. So that is 40,000 blocks. I've cleared out. Just so I can do this. And here's where we're at so far on my TNT. both sides oh oh come on no I guess we'll follow this one well that's about the tenth time I've tried it there's a mine shaft down there, and <clears throat> I can get to a certain amount of TNT, and it starts blowing up. Apparently, I was there. So we have a nice little gap around the outside. 
know, this is not all I need it to be. I need. There we go. Here's the rest of it. So. Yeah, we've still got a ways to go. We're going to try something, though. Let's say I go over like this many ish. And go down. And then go over about that many again. We'll see what this does for me. I'll go up a ways. I gotta figure out something because I can't continue to put layers of TNT out and try to blow it all up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, because I'm putting on a video. Let's have a wee bit of fun. And repeaters. Okay. We stick a but a little bit of redstone. Is that going to be too long? No, it should be good. I guess I didn't need to do quite all of that. It's okay though. Yeah, this got out of hand, didn't it? <laughs> Go ahead and stick one of these right here. This is all a massive waste of time. I just, uh, I want it to look pretty. completely missed one. I might have missed more than one. We shall see. Yay for booms. So what I'm seeing is they need to be closer together. That was a little bit weak. We're looking at yeah. There we go. That opened up. There's some diamond. <laughs> A bit more of that potion. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, it's going to be about that tall. So the thing's going to eventually be really cool. I've just got a lot of work to do. skip forward just a bit all right we'll get this cave popping off I uh, laid out quite a bit of TNT as you can see I don't know why I'm lighting more than one it doesn't matter right. booms and pops and all that good stuff is this blowing up? There it comes. There's some gold. Alright, well there's um not much more accomplished. So easy to get rid of the water. So easy, there's more diamond. How deep is this? Pretty deep. Pretty deep. See, uh, I think you see what I have to do here. Is all this water has to go, all the lava has to go. It's uh, it's going to be a long process to get this whole thing cleared out. Here is the new plan. I have kind of pyres or towers, whatever of TNT. We're starting around the edges of this. I've got about halfway down the other side over there. We're going to see what happens here. Should be pretty good. That's the bedrock. Not perfect. Oh, that cleared out really well. If I can get it to all look like that. I better keep up with the explosion. All the way over. Wow. Alright. Okay. Yeah. So... Let's go clear this out. I mean, I'll have to do some manual clearing too. That's not a big deal. It's just part of it. So this whole area, this whole kind of like section. Uh, what am I always doing? Yeah, this whole section right here is done. All the way top to bottom. And you can kind of see how big this is going to be. I mean, this is a hundred blocks wide or more now with the explosions and it's going to be 200 blocks long which kind of sucks because it's like all the work I just did to clear this row out right here I've got to do let's say every five blocks so 40 more times to get all the way to the other end of the room Yep. And 
And on this side, I think this is the side I always get turned around. I'm amazed I haven't gotten more lost in, in the caves than I have, but yeah, I've got to right here. Which that's not quite halfway. Yeah, maybe close to halfway. I also figured out something interesting about lava. A freaking source block right there. Fun lava times. Let's see if I can get up above this here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. You guys that play this game you might already know this. I just learned it. I thought it was really cool. I was trying to figure out a way to get rid of all the TNT that I would have to get rid of. I don't know if it'll blow up from the inside. Yeah, it was too far down. Okay, we're up under the TNT. With, with TNT, you can blow out lava. Which I think is just dandy. Alright guys, there you go. If any of you ever decide to make a 600,000 cubic meter room underground in Minecraft, I recommend against it. You get to see a lot of explosions, but this is a... Let's put it this way, I have a master's degree and this is one of the most frustrating, tedious things I've ever done. Well, that didn't clear out near as much as I wanted it to. We're getting there, though. I've got most of this row cleared out. I think most of down that side. And we still have a lot of uh, a lot of space to cover, though. I do have. I want to show you guys one thing over here. I do have one row cleared out all the way front to back here. I've gotten rid of about half the lava so far, so still some room to go there, but. This is going to take some time. Thankfully, as of the recording of this, I'm about two months ahead on Minecraft videos. <clears throat> so hopefully by the time I catch back up and need to put one out again, I will have um, at least have this cleared out. And, you know, doing this in my spare time is it's going to take a little while. What's this? I uh, found a mine shaft. Ooh, ooh, that ain't no mine shaft. <laughs> <coughs> hey guys, this is um, this is gonna be a few seconds later for you, but this is two weeks later for me. Or you know, it didn't take me two full weeks to do this, but this is where I'm at after making a bunch of GTA videos and doing two weeks of work and screwing with this in my spare time. I've I've got most of this cleaned out. And it is massive. I looked around online and, you know, I've seen bigger builds, but I, I have never seen a larger underground chamber than this. 
And since I've never seen it, it doesn't exist. And I'm going to go ahead and say this is the largest underground chamber in Minecraft. It's probably not. <clears throat> largest thing I've ever built, that's for sure. And no, I haven't been doing it one block at a time since, since I last uh, recorded. But yeah, we're getting there. I mean, this whole center section of this is almost gone. This was a big open room anyway. And this mine shaft here. I actually marked where the mine shaft went in up here. Right here. I mean, it still goes off and does all its stuff that it does. Drop. There we go. Here's the start of it. Which I always think these rooms look pretty cool. I have the different paths off of it. One thing I think that'd be nifty if in these rooms there was like a staircase, a spiral staircase that went up to the top and it was just covered by a little bit of dirt so it'd be possible to find it just barely digging around top. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, this is uh, this is where we're at. I've been playing with my walls a little bit and playing with how I'm going to light this massive room because when I don't have the, the uh, night vision potion on, it's dark. It's very dark. I'm not going to leave any lava. And as you can see, there's a lot of lava that used to be here. It's not here anymore. I've really got just this section in the middle, but I'm getting pretty, pretty good at getting rid of it. But most of this lava will be gone by the time I dig down from the top and put my my uh, TNT all the way up and then blow all this stuff out. Most of that lava will be gone. So we are going to jump ahead. I don't know how long it will take me to get rid of that. Maybe I, I would hope no longer than 45 minutes, but it might take me longer. You guys won't know, so we're going to jump ahead to this room being completely cleared out. Almost done, guys. These are the last pieces. And good, the potion is wearing off, too. So you will see my problem of having to light this thing. It's it's cleared out. It's finally done. <laughs> yeah, there it is. So as you can see, we have some lava providing light around this, this here, here, and here, lighting up the floor right here. Um, these are actually shafts up to the outside. Go fast. Oof. So, I mean, sun's almost down and it's still... definitely putting some light in here so that's probably part of what I'm going to do with the lighting situation I think let's uh yeah let's be able to see it again I'm proud of this this took four freaking ever what I think I might do uh, we're definitely gonna do the uh, pillar quartz walls all the way around I like that um, this is going to be my floor level right here, just in case I want to add any kind of circuitry or whatever I want to do. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to have switches for different minecart tracks, so I'll have, I can clear all this out in creative, thankfully, you can clear out this bedrock, but, you know, if I need to set up, a, if I need to set up something, I'll have three block sites or three what uh what's that? Nine meters ish. Aren't these three cubic meters? Something like that? No, it's one meter, so nine feet. I'm sorry. Yeah. You guys knew what I was talking about. Anyway, I might I might do the whole floor out of glowstone. I don't really want to. I don't like how it looks. But I've done other floors with goldstone stripes in them, and I really didn't like that either. But, I mean, now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the ceiling in either. One thing that I am going to do, and I figured out the center of it. I was in the elevator at work the other day, and I figured out how I want to 
I'm going to have to fix this and make this look cool again. Anyway, I figured out how I want to um, bring some of my minecart rails in here. Because this is this is going to be a, a big train station, a big subway terminal, basically. I'm going to have a really, really massive tower of pimps here in the middle. Um, I can't remember how tall this is. Let's see. So, brain fart. One, two... Okay, so the floor level is going to be like six, and then the ceiling is going to be right about here. So it's like 23 high ish. And I can always, it take a while, but I can make the ceiling higher if I need to. I could, I could also make the floor lower, but I do want to have the room to, ru to run circuitry underneath it if I want to. So I guess if I needed more room, I'd make the ceiling go up. Uh, that's a daunting task. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a tower of pimps in the middle of the room. That's that's what I'm thinking. With my minecarts, at least four, um, that start at each side of the tower, spiraling up around it as they go out. We'll see how that works. It might not be the prettiest thing ever, but it it might be cool. I mean, alternatively, I can just have, like in my other one, you know, you'll have a wall here, and then actually, we'll show you. Six fast. This is closer. I have to do something about that lava, but you know, basically, you just have a a minecart that goes back into the wall. Like, I can't go in there, like right here, or something like that. We'll we'll see about that. Because that sucks. If you get in here, you're like, oh, the tunnel I need is all the way over here, and then you gotta cross the floor. And in in creative mode, not a big deal. In creative mode, you can fly everywhere. So I mean, the point of doing this is so I have a central kind of hub to get to all my places in uh, survival or or adventure mode. I think it's adventure. There's another one. I don't remember. I've never used it. But yeah, I saw that. Uh, it you can't just like destroy stuff. You have to have the right tool, or I, I don't remember all the details of it. But it sounded when I, re I remember when I read it, it sounded really good for playing with some of my friends. Like okay, so they can't destroy all the crap I made. But yeah, so this is this is this, and uh, it's it's enormous. We are going to jump forward in time again. In a second, we gotta do one thing first. I don't need any more TNT. Haha. -ha. Gonna do one little thing here, and then we'll skip back forward in time. What is down there? Just a cave with some lava. Cool. Yeah, so that will be hidden behind the wall. I'll forget where it is eventually. Oh yeah, I'd, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we'll we'll skip forward in time here, and um, there will be a massive tower of pimps in the middle, and all the wall will be back. We'll probably jump back in with all the walls up, and maybe some of the floor. What time is it right now? It is eleven forty-three. If you've watched some of my GTA videos, you know that sometimes I can't read a clock, but I'm, I, I know I'm right this time. So we'll jump ahead and I'll tell you what time it is when I get all the walls done. That'd be kind of cool.